Any explanation of the automotive sales industry in the U.S. is best served by acknowledging the inception of the automobile itself. But this is no easy task. There's no one definitive moment in history where a single brilliant inventor walked into a proverbial garage with tools, metal, and gasoline, and emerged with grease all over his face wearing coveralls proclaiming, I have something the world has never seen. While many credit Carl Benz, or even Gottlieb Wilhelm Daimler as the pioneers of the first automobile at the end of the 19th century, credit should also be given to Frenchman Nicolas Joseph Cugnot, whose steam-powered road vehicle was the first of its kind in 1769, or Nicolas Otto for inventing the first effective gas motor engine in 1861. Though the popular credit given to Carl Benz is not misplaced, as he earned the first patent for the automobile in Germany in 1886, and the same year, Fellow German Gottlieb Wilhelm Daimler, with the help of Wilhelm Maybach, built his own version of the automobile. Had they tried to race each other, the winner would have scorched the loser at a fireball speed of approximately 8 miles per hour. Soon after the first automobiles were doing donuts in Germany, the US experienced its own inception of the automobile. As was the case in Europe, the beginning of the car industry in the US cannot be credited to one individual either. Before Henry Ford built his first automobile in 1896, bicycle makers Charles and Frank Durier tested a gas-powered car in 1893. They went on to set up what is widely considered the first business aimed at commercially selling automobiles. Of course, Ransom E. Olds, Elwood Haynes, Hiram Percy Maxim, and Charles Brady King should not be neglected either. Elwood Haynes road-tested a car in Indiana in 1894, but no more than a couple of miles into his maiden voyage, a policeman, on a bike, pulled him over. Elwood proceeded to receive what many historians jokingly consider the first speeding ticket, which was undoubtedly followed up with the first line of excuses given to a cop through a driver's side window. And though Hiram Percy Maxim's gas-powered car built in 1895 was just as impressive as Haynes and his historical joyride, the stroke of genius that followed for Hiram was even more impressive, though possibly only in hindsight. You see, Hiram designed an electronic automobile, and Ransom E. Olds built a steam-powered car in 1887, almost a decade before his gasoline-powered car launched his career. Little did they know, they were ahead of the green movement by more than a century. They might even be the first hipsters. Who knows? Olds would certainly make a name for himself as a manufacturer. 